Hello, my name is Georg Hinkel from the FZI Research Center of Information Technologies and I would like to present you the .NET Modeling Framework NMF, which is a framework for model-driven engineering on the .NET platform. So, uh, in this demo I would like to show you how to load and save models based on an eco meta model uh, in NMF. So, first thing I, I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project called NMF Demo in the standard uh, Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition. Now, to uh, make this uh, an NMF project, I just go to Tools and to the NuGet Package Manager and search for NMF. And the first thing on the list is actually the right one. Um, uh, just download NMF, uh, and this will add some references to the to the project, and also add some tools. Now, unfortunately, these tools are only available after I've restarted Visual Studio. And before uh, Visual Studio is restarted, I'll just show you the the meta model that I have here, which is for finite state machines. Finite state machines basically consist of states, and states consists of outgoing transitions. And there's also a reference for incoming transitions and out, both outgoing uh, and incoming transitions have opposites in, in, in the transitions source and target states. And there's also an example model here, uh, which basically represents a, a very small order process. Now Visual Studio is loaded, um, and therefore I can uh, have access in the uh, package manager console here to to the tools and the tools that I'm going to use as eco to code uh, I don't didn't provide any parameters to that uh, tool therefore it's showing me all the parameters that are available and before there's any um, before I can actually uh, generate a meta model um, I need to of course uh, copy the meta model so in here I just copy um, the fsm.ecore uh, and then I can generate the code, so eco to code minus f because I don't want every uh, all the generated code in a single file but rather a folder structure then minus n for the namespace which is nmf uh, demo then um, I need to provide uh, um, the output so this will be a folder um, which is just a meta model. Um, and afterwards, uh, well, the, the input meta model is an eco meta model, so that's why I need to provide also um, a, a, a path where I want to save the n meta uh, meta model that is generated. Um, this will be required to, to load models then afterwards. So I just uh, save that to fsm.nmf. And finally, I need to provide the meta model that I'm going to use, and that is fsm.ecore. Just type enter, and the code has been generated successfully. Now I don't see that code. Why? Because I need first all to uh, to show all files. There is the the, the folder meta model. I just include that into project, and I also include um, the generated meta model, which is not going to be compiled, but rather added as an embedded resource. But there's also another thing that I need to do is I also need to register the meta model it's not done by default so I just go here into for example the assembly info and add a new assembly wide attribute uh, to uh, which is called model metadata and I need to add a using um, statement and I need to provide the model UI so I just go to for example here the, the generated class for the states there's uh, an attribute containing exactly this um, this namespace. So I'm, uh, I should have also copied the quotes. And then I need to um, provide uh, where the resource is, where uh, NMF can find actually the, the model for that, and that this NMF demo, so the name of the or the default namespace, and then um, fsm dot NMF. Which is basically exactly the file that I have um, uh, stored the meta model to. So then I can uh, compile the project and it succeeded. 
and so we can actually start to load the model, uh, load models into a repository. So the first thing that we need to uh, that we need for loading anything into a repository is a repository. So we just create a new one. And then as the next step, I'm just uh, going to load um, uh, a model, which is basically done by resolving um, a path into that repository. So I'm just using uh, a hard-coded path here to FS uh, example.fsm. And then I just uh, grab the... Um, the first root element as a state machine. There, there it is. Yeah, and then I uh, just write something to the console so that I have uh, something where I can uh, add a breakpoint to compile it. And then uh, well, the only thing I need to do is, of course, um, copy the uh, the example model into uh, the, the bin folder so that it is accessible by the demo. Um, start the application, and uh, here I hit the breakpoint, uh, and now I can basically you can actually see that uh, all the states are there, and all the they have the correct names. They also have all, all the, so they are basically loaded correctly. Um, uh, so the next thing I'm, 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 I'm going to do is I'm going to change the model. So I'm going to um, insert a new transition. So um, I just uh, grab uh, oh not the start state uh, a state then. I add a transition uh, and the input will be just okay when uh, when um, after I've checked that the items are in the store um well if I uh, if the items are for free then um, I just go directly to the uh, to I just skip checking payments and uh, just go to another state. Okay, and finally I save the changed model into a different file, which I do basically repository dot save um, fsm and this time to example two dot fsm. Actually, uh, saving what is already in the repository, but um, under a new name. Yeah, and um, then I remove the breakpoint and run the application. And yeah, it's gone, gone through. And there's uh, the new example. And I just. Um, open that in Eclipse and as you can see uh, the check stock has now uh, a new transition items are for free uh, which basically means that you can directly proceed to ship order um, yeah of course uh, in between loading and saving I could have done anything um, NMF also has tools to um, analyze uh, models incrementally so uh, I I implicitly and in incrementally, so you just w you write your analysis, you write your uh, changes, and the analysis actually tells you well there's something changed, and the analysis all, uh, automatically uh, keeps itself updated. There is a transformation language also available that allows you to um, write uh, model transformations in C sharp, and there's also a synchronization uh, language available that allows you to do stuff like uh, bidirectional incremental synchronization. Yeah, and this is um, just what I wanted to show you, so thank you for listening and goodbye.